Welcome to my food dehydration comparison project. When I started this assignment, I was simply wanting to figure out if my students could use their own kitchen ovens to uh, dehydrate their camp food, since most people have ovens, but not a food dehydrator. As I started the comparison between the oven and the food dehydrator, my plan was to compare dehydration time, energy consumption, moisture content, and taste. I started by cooking a vegan Thai curry. I decided to weigh um, the two cups of Thai curry that I measured. One, two cups for the food dehydrator and two cups were to be for the oven. And I also decided to cut up some apples, cut up some bananas, weigh those, and then I recorded the weight for each uh, of the Thai curry and the apples and the bananas on my chart. Here I am just measuring the um, curry. I'm putting the Thai curry on the parchment paper on top of a cookie sheet. And you want to make sure that you try to cut down any big huge chunks of potato or squash in order to have a fairly consistent layer of your meal. Here I'm pouring the curry onto the food dehydrator and again a fairly consistent layer. I weighed each banana and sliced them a quarter inch thick, one for the food dehydrator and one for the oven. Okay, so here is one banana cut up in the dehydrator and one banana cut up to go into the oven. So I'm also going to cut up an apple. So this apple weighs 119 grams. I will cut it and then I will weigh this apple and cut it up and add these to my trays of bananas. I've never done this before. Here are my apples and bananas on the rack in the oven. And here is my curry on the cooling rack on top of a rack in the oven. Okay, so I have the, I put the bananas and the apples on top of the squash so that the squash doesn't leak through onto the bananas and apples. Although a little bit of a curry flavored fruit might be actually t tasty. You need to make sure that your dehydrator is set to about 130 degrees. After five hours in the oven, I brought them out. Unfortunately, I did not notice in that five hour period that the oven had switched up to 350 degrees. I don't know how long it was at 350 degrees for, so you can see the bananas are a bit crispy, but they're still not dehydrated. So I think it was 350 for just a short time to kind of burn them. I think they'll still taste good though. In the dehydrator, after five hours, it's not bad. It's um, You want it to be crumbly, and it's almost crumbly, but I think to go um, another hour or two is better. Same with the curry from the oven, as you can see in this photo. Um, it's, it's getting there, but it's still slightly moist. You want to be able to crumble it between your fingers and it doesn't quite do that. So again, another few hours, even though again with the oven and the curry, um, somehow my oven switched to 350 degrees and kind of burnt it. The bananas are looking amazing. You can see the sugars have come up and um, I never put any sugar or honey like some people do um, because there's so much um, natural sugar in the fruit. I always leave my apple peels on as well because it's a little bit more nutritious and I don't see any reason why you shouldn't have dried apple peels. So after five hours, the fruit was dehydrated. Here, after nine hours, the curry from both the oven and the food dehydrator are done. Um, I could have probably done a little bit more than nine hours, um, but after weighing it and calculating the moisture content, you can see that both um, curries from the oven and dehydrator had 14% moisture.
Okay, Kaden, what I would like you to do is I would like you to try each of those dried bananas and tell me which one I like more. you like more. Yeah. I like this one more. Which one? This one? That one? You like that one better? Mm -hmm. Why do you like that one better? Um, this one's like crispier and it's like in a weird way. I don't know. Okay, now you are going to tell me whether you like the apple, that apple better or the other apple better. I think I like this one better. They're different though. This one's crispier. Mm -hmm. This one's like a little more sour, crispier. And this one's more like bendy. I don't know, just different textures. And... Okay. Okay. But they're both pretty good? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. It's a taste test. Go ahead. Yeah. Which one do you like better? Apple, you tried the apple, okay. Yeah, it's the apple. All right, yeah. what do you think? It's pretty dry. Pretty dry. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is, that's, that's the point, yeah. You know, I'm thinking about flavor, texture. Mm. This one's a little more spongy, I feel like. A bit spongier, okay. Mm. Edible though? Mm -hmm. Good, okay. Yeah. So, this preference? It's a bit sweeter, I feel like I like this one a little more. You like that one more? Okay, yeah. that one. And for the bananas, what about that side? Which one do you like better for the bananas? Mm. Actually, I definitely like this one better for the bananas. I like the taste more, it's a little bit sweeter. Thank you. In rehydrating the curry, I wanted to see if I could get it back to the original two cups um, that I started with. So I measured out two cups of water and then I used the same pots and the same flame on the gas stove. And basically I just measured um, the water and started slowly um, adding water and stirring into the pot. I'm trying to replicate how I would be cooking dinner at camp. Notice that I'm using my fair share mug for measuring the water. This is what I use at camp as my cup and my bowl. It's a great camp mug because it has the measurements on the side. After a few minutes, um, the curry is starting to dehydrate and I'm really not noticing much of a difference between the food dehydrator curry and the oven dehydrated curry. They both have the same kind of texture, consistency, and are rehydrating at pretty much the same rate. It took nine minutes to rehydrate the curry to almost the same texture before it was dehydrated. However, it only took just over one cup of water and there was only one cup of rehydrated curry. So, Number one. Number one. Oh, that's nice. And there's number two. Number two. Let's see if you taste any difference. I think that one's milder. Um, this one, like temperature wise, it's a little bit hotter, but, um, I feel like this one is just a little, has more, like this one's a little blander almost. This one just kind of has more flavor. Like they taste the same, but this one just has more flavor. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So based on energy consumption, my conclusion is inconclusive. My calculations of kilowatt hours is inaccurate because the wattage you can't really use and the oven is very well insulated. Both devices would have been cycling on and off, but mostly off in those nine hours. So I think they used pretty much the same amount of energy. It took nine hours to dehydrate both curries to 14% mo uh, moisture, and they both taste great. So in conclusion, yes, you can easily use your own kitchen oven to dehydrate your food for camp.